Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the HTML section of the course. That's fantastic. Here we're going to look at the project um, for this part of the course. Um, we're going to make a website that looks a bit like this. It's not the most beautiful website in the world, let's be honest. Um, it looks a bit 90s, if that. But it does contain all the things that you've learned about um, in this part of the course. So we've got an image, we've got a YouTube video, um, we've got some lists, um, we've got a little bit of a form and a table there as well, and some line breaks and all the other stuff. Now, as this is our first project, I just want to say a few words about how I think you should use the projects. My advice would be not to follow along on the videos and do exactly what I do. I'm going to show you how to do it on the videos so that you can um, follow along when you get stuck. But uh, I think it's much more beneficial if you can actually build the website yourself just going back and looking over what you've learned. Um, it's up to you, of course, which way you want to do it. Um, you might even want to build a completely different website. So this is pretty dull. It's not that exciting. Um, you might want to build something that's a bit more personal to you that has all the same features. Um, but the important thing is that you do as much as you can yourself and only check back into these videos when you need to. OK, but without further ado, I'm going to crack on. I'm actually going to use the code school system to do this. So I'm going to keep that there and um, keep that there as well. Um, so I'm going to use this as a guide and then just keep flicking uh, back and forth. So I'm going to start with the code of the example.com website. There it is. View the code and I'm going to use command A to select the whole thing and command C to copy it. That's control A and control C if you're on Windows. And then I'm going to paste that lot into there. Let's click the link. Great. So we've got a copy of the example.com website. As before, I'm going to get rid of all of the uh, code that we don't need. So that's the style tags and everything inside the body tags. And I'm going to change the title to be uh, Hello World. Again, you don't need to save when you're here. Um, you just need to go over and refresh. So there we go. Hello World is the title, but we've got no content yet. So step by step, here goes. I'm going to start um, with the Hello World up there. So I think that's going to be an H1 tag by the looks of it. So let's go back over here and in our body. Oops. We'll put in an H1 tag. And what was the actual content? Hello world. There we go, slash h1, have a look. Excellent, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm not gonna bother typing this in, that looks like an h2 to me, so I'm gonna copy it over. Ah. Yeah, tabbing doesn't work on this page, which is a bit frustrating. I'll take a look at that, h2. A few facts about the world we live in. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. Right, now we need this image. Now this image I've taken from uh, Wikipedia. So let's find exactly where it is. I think I looked for Wikipedia Earth. Okay, there's the result. There it is, that's the image I want. So I'm gonna click on that, and as before, I'm going to copy the image URL, because I'm going to link to it directly on Wikipedia rather than download it to myself. Right, so to input an image, I use IMG. The source is that really long link that I've just copied and pasted from Wikipedia. Self-close, see how that looks. Okay, great, a little bit too big though. So let's restrict the width. Uh, let's try 300. See how that looks. Oh, not too bad. So that's about right, I think. Fantastic, I'm gonna deal with the YouTube video at the end. So I'm just gonna work my way down. This is a nice, simple uh, paragraph of text. 
So let's just have a P and close P. Easily done. Great. Um, and beneath that, we're going to need a horizontal rule to get that nice dividing line. OK. Steaming through. Um, so that about the Earth, I think, is a slightly smaller heading than the previous one. So let's call it an H3. And I'll just keep flicking back. Yeah, that looks good to me. So what have we got here? Here we've got what looks like an unordered list um, with a bit of bolding and um, a link in there as well. So it's a little bit complicated, but I think we can handle it. To save myself typing everything out, I'm going to copy that lot and paste it in. Um, and then I'll deal with it here. So I want an unordered list for a nice bullet point. And then we're going to have a list item. So the first list item is this one. Close my list item. I should actually have closed my unordered list as well. There we go. See how that looks. Ah, not too bad, but something weird has happened there. It's stored everything else. So what have I done? I've got ul li slash li. That should be fine. Maybe it just doesn't like having the text that's not in any paragraphs there. Let's see. OK. Ah, now I can see what I've done. I've made a mistake. And that mistake is I've forgotten to put the slash after the h3. Great. I'm sure those sort of things will um, happen to you as well. It's just a matter of going back and figuring out what's going on. So because I didn't close the h3 tag, everything else was in the ht, h3 sorry format. Um, so let's just have a look. That's better. Great. These things will happen. It's fine. Um, so I've forgotten to bold the mass. I do that with the strong tag. When I close the strong tag, let's just check it. Excellent. Um, OK, so I'm going to put my other items there. And I'm going to copy and paste again, because I'm too lazy to type it all out. That's five different things. So second line, I want diameter instead of mass. But I'm going to keep that inside the strong tags. Great. Now, this one's going to be a bit different. So I want satellites inside strong. And the text I want is the moon. But you'll remember that the moon linked to a certain page. So let's find out where the moon goes. Um, I can command clicked that to open it in a new tab. Oh, there we go. Got some great moon facts. Fantastic. So I'm going to copy that link, Command C or Control C in Windows. And I'm going to make this a link by using the A tag. And the href is going to be that. Close it there. All right, let's just make sure that works. Yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Again, I'll open it in a new tab so I don't lose what I've got there. Great. It's linking up nicely. Um, almost there. So now we want to get rid of that lot. We seem to have the mass three times, so I think we can live without that. So I'll just refresh that, and we'll just have those three bits of information. That's fine. Although satellites has lost its colon. OK, great. Um, so now we need another horizontal rule. Excellent. And another H3, which this time is going to be Top three Earth facts. There's the tab again. Oh, 
There we go. Top three earth facts. How does that look? Brilliant. Okay, so this one's going to be an ordered list because we want to include those numbers. So as before, I'm going to copy the information over so I don't have to retype it. So OL for ordered list. And an LI for list item. There's the first one. And again, I'm going to copy and paste that. So the Earth rotation is actually gradually slowing. And a year is not precisely 365 days. You can look that up to get some more information if you're interested. Let's get rid of that and don't forget to close your ordered list tag. Let's have a look. Awesome. That looks great. Almost there, so it looks like we've got a nice table there of Earth's nearest neighbours. So let's have another horizontal rule. And we're going to need a table to set this up. So I'm going to do a new table row, table head, what have we got? Name, radius and average temperature. I think I'll just type those out. Name, radius, average, temperature. Close the table row. And let's just close whoops, the table and make sure that's OK. Looks fine. So there's a bit of information again. I'll copy and paste this lot. So, and I'll also copy and paste that row. Oh no, maybe I'll type it so as it's got all the THs and I want TR, TDs this time. So TRTD, we've got Mars. Close the table cell. A new one. 3,390 kilometers. And an average temperature of minus 55. Aha, now this is an interesting one. So I want to put degree C. So one way to do it would be to copy it. I could just copy and paste there. But actually, if I didn't have it right there in front of me, I'd need to, to get it somehow and I can't type it. So what I would do, go to Google, degree sign HTML entity. Okay, it looks like it's going to be in that top result. I, I did a command F there to search for it. There we go. So the degree sign has an HTML entity of and deg. Makes sense. So we'll use and deg C. Great. Probably worth just checking. Everything's okay there. Yep, looks fine. And one more then. Copy and paste again. Venus is six thousand and fifty two miles uh, kilometers from the sun. Or from us, sorry. Um and Average temperature 460 degrees. Yikes. Nice. There we go. So we've got our table. And then what I've done just at the end there is um, used a form to click a link. Now that's something actually slightly new that we haven't done before. So let me show you how it's done. Um, so we'll create our form first of all. Now you'll hopefully remember that the button is a submit type of input. Type equals submit. And we want the text to be click here. So we set the value to click here. Self close. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much there. Oh, I missed off the want to know more. So let's pop a little paragraph tag 
separate that out nicely. There we go. Now, what you'll notice here is that it's um, if you click on the link here, it actually goes to the page so that you can link, um, you can read more. And the way we do that is if we get that link, we can set what's called the target of the form. And the target is the page that it goes to when, um, when you submit it. So we don't need that um, question mark on the end. Not that it will cause us any problems. So let's take a look. Want to know more? Click here. Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Action. So we do that by setting the action attribute of the form tag, which we haven't seen before, but here it is. So it's just form action equals, and then you paste in the URL of the page that you want the form to submit to. So we're just using it like a link here, really. Let's see what happens. Fantastic. It goes to the space facts. Right, excellent. So we're, we're almost there. We've just got one more thing to do, the iframe. So where did I get that? I went to YouTube and I searched for spinning earth. Did I? One of these. That will do fine. Um, okay, so as before, we go to share and embed, and we copy that code, and we paste it in. We're going to put it in right at the top. There it is. So I did copy it and paste it, but I could have just typed out iframe, and it's got a width and a height and a source of the, um, the code, etc. We saw that before. Okay, that's great. So now it works, but we've got a problem there. Um, it's not aligning nicely like it did before um, on the right. So there's a way we can get around that. And this is a new thing as well, known as the align tag. So we want to align, sorry, the align um, attribute. We want the iframe to align on the right. And there we go. Now it does that really nicely. Okay, fantastic. So that's the um, the end of the HTML section. If you've done this, um, then please do send me your link. I'd be really really happy to see it, um, and um, I'll comment if you've done something um, something new and different. Um, that would be great. But I hope you've enjoyed the HTML section of the course. Please do um, have a look at the documents that we've um, put together for you. That is the reference guide, the tagged guide, um, the further links reading, and then when you're ready, carry straight on onto the styles part of the course.